There he goes. He's a blade of grass blowing in the wind. Well, this is our first snake of the day here. It's a smooth green snake. We're out here exploring Western Maryland. I absolutely love getting out to this part of the state. And it's one of the few parts of the state where you can actually find these animals, this smooth green snake here. I want to put it right back under the rock where I found it. Um, really great start. I think today's going to be a really good day. Our second snake of the day. Uh, I absolutely love seeing eastern milk snakes. That like splash of like rusty red. Like what a nice looking animal. Um, these snakes, we spent a very long time trying to figure out like how to find them. And the real key, habitat. Like we're out here in some nice pristine mountain habitat with nice flat rocks um, where these guys can spend their time thermoregulating. I found that they, they love sunny rocky hillsides, rocks stacked on top of rocks, like old like human construction. They love that kind of stuff. They also get under artificial cover like tin and boards and such. But I love coming out into the wilderness, into like nice pristine wilderness habitat and finding snakes way more than I enjoy going to some garbage dump looking for these animals. I'm gonna put this guy back under the rock I flip him under and we're gonna keep going. Um, yeah, I love these guys. All right, so we got snake three and four for the day. We got two northern ringnecks here. They were under the same rock. They tend to, a lot of them communal hang out under the same rock. So you, I have a tick on me, let's get that out. Uh, but they tend to hang out under the same rocks or in the same area. You can find a lot of them along the same area. Like Michael was saying earlier, we're checking out hillsides, which these guys definitely prefer. A lot of flat rocks and some sunny hillside, grassy areas. But one thing that's cool about these two guys is one of them is actually in shed and one of them's not. So if you wanna, if you can get in here and see a little bit closer and show you the difference, the one that is not in shed, this one here, you can t a lot of times their eyes, they get really bluish when they get in shed. They can't see well, it's very hard for them to see. But this one here, the belly on this one that is not in shed is really vibrant, a very vibrant orangish yellow color. And then this one here has a, has a grayish sheen over top of that belly. Lo looks a little lighter in color. That's because the skin is starting to peel away from the snake and that's what's causing it to have that hue. It's a big smooth green. Look at that. That chunk. He was on the crawl. That's a good looking snake. I just saw a oh, flash yeah. of movement and I was like, grass doesn't move like that. Long it tail. is getting warm. It's 70 degrees. That's a degrees. Really, look at that long tail. Look at that. That's, really that's impressive. Cool. You good if I just let it go? Yeah, okay. I, I'm just fine. All right. I mean, I don't. I don't need that's a they, nice that's a chunky smooth green. That's a nice smooth green right that's there, a pal. One. That's a nice snake. Oh, he's doing the wave yeah. thing. <laughs> this thing was fine. He was just right up here. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, bud. Let him do his thing. He's gone. They just disappear. He's gone forever. Two. Ants. Two. Ooh. A milk snake. And ants. Fancy ants. Nice little milk snake. Covered in ants. My hand's covered in ants. Down there hanging out with all those ants. Check out the belly. Really cool checkered belly these guys have. What's you eating there? Nothing. <laughs> you, eating, you eating the forest? Yep. How's that forest taste? I don't know. Let me see if I can find another piece. Michael found a leaf. He's eating the forest again. Deforestation at its finest. <laughs> well, I'm a little spicy. And that's how you stay healthy. Living off the land. Lots of fiber. Chris, you can eat that one? No, that's actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat that one? Which one? I don't know, that one. You're talking about all the garlic mustard? Because that's edible. Yeah. Sounds gross. I'm good. You should eat it though. I think I might need a dandelion green to wash that taste out of my mouth. What's wrong with you? Here we go. You don't wash that taste out of your mouth with more gr- Ew! Ew, he's- Yep. More deforestation. 
<sighs> when is this world coming to? Do you see what I see? Oh, it's musical. <laughs> Let's see. Let's zoom in on him. He's looking right at us. There he is. Nice yellow phase timber rattlesnake. Uh, snag a photo or two. This is another one. Oh, I see him. I see a head. Yeah, that's a real pretty one. Hiding under that rock. This is why you got to be real careful when you're walking dens like this, because if you come from that direction and you're walking down, you never would have seen that snake. Michael's got another one. The timber number four. Oh, uh, that's a dark one. Can't really see him shadowed a little much. Yeah, he's a great angle. We got two here. I don't know if you can see that shadow kind of sucks. Oh, thanks clouds. Help me out. Nice black phase timber. And then there's a second one. Sitting with them. There's the rattle. Now it's, still, it's either in shed or it's just dirty. Hey, right, we got another dark phase timber. If I could get it in focus, out here under these bushes. Just a full black timber. That's so cool. I feel like we've confused it. It doesn't know what to do. Although this, there's too much stuff in the way. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Coming towards you. He's coming towards me. It's a pretty good size one. Look at that thing. Oh, there goes that rattle. His tail is like gray and white. Yeah, it might be in some stage of shed. That's pretty just cool. That tail and yank it out of yeah, I'll just give it a little yank. Look at the colors on that. It's like gray, black. That's really cool. Here goes the rattle. We're still out here on the rattlesnake den and we've seen a lot of big rattlesnakes, a lot of big timber rattlesnakes, but we decided to come on to the other side, a little bit farther side of the den. Um, we have a lot of luck flipping over here for like northern red belly snakes, also smooth greens, ringnecks, milks, and stuff like that. But while flipping, you always want to be cautious where you're putting your hands because this little guy here, I did not expect to flip this. This is a very small timber rattlesnake. This is, he's got one little rattle on him. This is most likely last year's born. Uh, you can see right now, this snake, it's, it's watching me, making sure I'm not getting too close, but you can see how flat the snake is. The snake is flattening himself out, trying to make itself look bigger than it actually is, because that is a defensive posture that a lot of snakes do. It's really cool to see a snake do that. The snake's I mean, this snake is, it, I mean, it's, all, it's trying to look paper thin. It's really cool just to see this in person. But nice, really colorful rattlesnake for being so small. But like I said, even wherever you are, you always just got to remember that you have a possibility of flipping a venomous snake. And here in Maryland, we only have two. So the chances are a little slimmer than a lot of places. But if you're in a high population area where you know you're at a snake den, with venomous snakes you have to be very careful where you put your hands because you just never know even these little guys they can cause a lot of damage always when you're with a with a venomous snake you try never take your eyes off it for even just for a split second if you take your eyes off it for a split second and you're not paying attention and the snake is agitated you can get tagged and even at this size this snake can do a lot of damage to human tissue so 
I don't want to mess with them too much. I just had to get them out from under the rock that I flipped them under because I didn't want to smash them. But we're going to go ahead and take some photos of this snake and try and get it back under its rock. So we're checking out a new spot we've never been to. See a piece of this one. And that's the little one. The little I don't one. know if you can hear this, but we got, I don't know if you can see, probably in camera view, I have four nice big rattlesnakes. There's one under there, there's yep. one under here. What do we Look. count? Total eight? Uh, I think so, yeah. This one. Oh, that, one's, on. that one's booking out. This one, that one's just I can see there. one under that far rock too. That's nine. Look at that thing. Nice. You see that this one, you see dark a piece. timber rattlesnake. Just a piece of that one. That is really, really cool. Don't, I'm right behind you. Okay, so watch there's not out. a lot of safe places to put your feet. Yeah. Look at that. They are not happy we are here. Also make sure nobody's in the bushes yeah, too. Yeah, the one earlier climb. was in the bush. They do climb. Look at that one. That one's just going to hide. Wants to get away from us. There's that one there. Going. And we got another one. Get off me fly. They're so angry right now. I'm not gonna take another step into this. Yeah, I wouldn't go. There's another one right there. And I'm trying to see if I can spot any others. Yeah, there's one under this rock right in front of us. Yeah, there's another one under that, that rock. Did we get the nine? Yeah, there was nine in this tiny little spot. Jeez. A good amount of them went in, but check that snake out. That's a chunk up there. Monster. Yeah, that's a big one. Big snake. Check that snake. I'm not surprised. Found another snake down out here. It's just really cool to see all these snakes. Awesome. Look at this one. This one is not happy with us. That's a good three foot rattlesnake. Look at the colors on this one. Just the dark rust brown onto the black. That is an awesome looking timber. That is so cool. Look at that thing. For this little site right here, we are at, what did we say, 17 rattlesnakes? 17. 17 rattlesnakes and a rat snake. You probably won't be able to see the rat snake, but that rock right there, he is hanging out under the rock with a couple rattlesnakes. Uh, not gonna go in there and try and grab him out of there, because that's the dumbest thing ever. But there is another rattlesnake and a rat snake under there. Can't really see it, but it's there. And this rattlesnake doesn't feel extremely threatened right now, but once I stand up, I guarantee you it's going to rattle. Maybe not. If I stand up, it might not. If we both stand real up, big. yeah, then we'll look huge. Yep, start, there goes the rattle. Says you're, you're bigger than me, you're now a threat, get away. Wow. So we've been spending quite a bit of time out here today, just covering some new ground, hoping to find some new herps. Um, we found a sweet rattlesnake den. We have seen, we're not even done traversing this thing, 20 snakes. This one, uh, I might have to move. This one's coming this way. <laughs> um, one thing that I'd really like to do, this isn't something that we do all the time. I would love to come back here in the fall just to see what kind of litters these animals have. This is, this is astounding out here. Okay, I'm gonna move. Yeah. Hi. I'm gonna get He's up. coming to check you out. Hi. You might want to move. Yeah, I know. I'm right here. Hello. Guys, we're gonna come back here. This unbelievable. It's really remote. There's a really good chance these snakes are just, they're being left alone, and that's why there's so many. It's just, I've seen a lot of timbers, but, you know, finding them like this, you know, in their habitat, just doing their thing, 
man, that's what I love about herping.